Hello, good evening, uh, my friends. Let's start uh, the class number two from this uh, fifth module. And we're going to study now how to use what clauses. That is something that is kind of functional, especially at work. So uh, welcome everybody. I know it is. it has been like, a, well, kind of complicated week but we're going to have some, well, a couple of days off. So let's listen to some of you. Evelyn, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Good, excellent. Excellent. Thank you. And you? Well, I'm really good. Uh, Evelyn, are you having vacations? Yes, vacations in your job? I'm not, not, not vacation. No vacations. Okay, I'm so sorry, but well, we can almost here. Yeah, el fin de semana lo vas a tener que disfrutar, okay? Well, thank you, Evelyn. Here we have also a uh, Daniel. Hello, Daniel. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? I'm very well. Very well. Okay. Nice. And uh, Daniel, are you having vacations next week? Vacation this week. Yeah. Yes. No. The other week, are you having vacations? Not right. No. Not right, no. because you, you don't work in San Salvador, right? Okay, thank you. Here we have also uh, Gustavo. Hello, Gustavo. Hello, DJ. Good evening. Good, good evening. Okay, how are you tonight? Good? Good. Good, DJ. Okay, nice. I like to hear that. Yes, thank you. Uh, here we have Oscar, Daniel. Hello, Oscar. How are you tonight? I can hear you, Oscar. Activate the microphone. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you tonight? Mm, good. Are you good? Excellent. Fine. I'm fine. Fine. Thank you. I like to hear that. So, uh, welcome to the other participants. Uh, welcome, Guillermo, uh, Rosalie, Susie, John, and Ana Cristina. We're going to work uh, tonight with how to use what clauses. Okay. So, in this case, before we start with the class, here we have the first activity that it's write three characteristics of your personality. I mean, uh, the way you are, your personality. For example, you can write uh, if you're friendly, okay? If you are talkative, or if you are, for example, quiet, yeah, you can do it. Okay, remember, try to use adjectives related to personality. Adjetivos relacionados a su personalidad. I need you to write three. Vamos a escribir tres, okay? And we're going to do it on the chat, okay? So here, in my case, you write, I am friendly, talkative, Look at this. I am friendly, talkative, and quiet, okay? Uh, if you don't get any adjective, you can Google it, okay? Uh, remember, write three characteristics of your personality. Utilicen adjetivos de personalidad para describirse a ustedes, okay? Nice. I'm going to wait. Voy a esperar por sus respuestas here in the chat.
let's listen to um, your descriptions. So to start, uh, we're going to have uh, Eduardo. Hello, Eduardo. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Okay. Um, well, we are describing ourselves. Could you uh, read your uh, characteristics, please? I am serious, you say, right? Okay, I am patient, generous, and empathic. Thank you, very nice. Okay, we go with Daniel and then Guillermo. I am serious, responsible, and attentive. Nice, okay, perfect, that's good. And let's listen to uh, Guillermo and then Rosalie. Hi, Guillermo. Okay, I am quiet, honest, and kind. Kind, nice. Rosalie, please, you go. I am happy, outgoing, and friendly. Mm, it sounds really nice. Thank you. Okay, Um. here we have also Susie and John. I don't know if Susie is available. If you're there, Susie. Teacher. Hi. Hi. Um... I'm 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 I'm, I'm gentle. No problem. Mm -hmm. and angry. <laughs> really, are you angry? Mm. Okay. A veces. <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, she says sometimes. Okay. Sometimes. Oh uh, yeah, sometimes. Cuando, <laughs> Cuando es necesario. When necessary. Okay, uh, John. I guess John is a listener, right? Maybe he can't participate. Hi, green and oh. green and this year. Okay, nice. Okay, I participate. Yes. Please. Um, I detail. Um, I am sociable. Sociable. And I am careful. Oh yeah, very important uh, adjectives. Evelyn and then David. I am gently. I am um, responsibly. Attempted. Okay. Uh, responsible. You're very responsible. That's nice. Thank you. David, what about you, my friend? Mention your... Good evening, teacher. Hi there. Good evening. I, I am friendly, also courteous, and respectful. And respectful. Very nice. I like that. Okay. And let's see. Luisa, I don't know if you have your your adjectives ready? Okay, maybe Luisa is not ready. Uh, Rivas, I don't know in your, in your case, Rivas. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. We are describing our personality. Attentive, happy, and sociable. Nice, and sociable, good. Okay, what about Gustavo? Okay, teacher. Hello. I am, I am re respectful, punctual, uh, responsible. And uh, responsible. Okay. Yeah. That sounds like very important, especially for work. Okay. So thank you for your answers. Gracias por sus respuestas. And in this case, uh, we're going to continue. And remember, it is important to know uh, some details, especially related to what we think we are, okay, our mood. Maritza, good evening, Maritza. We want to know your adjectives. Good evening. Um, period, quiet, and responsible. And responsible, thank you, yeah. Okay, you know the way you are. Okay, what about Oscar Daniel? Uh, I am friendly, serious, and demanding. Okay, thank you. Well, here we have Anna Cristina, but I guess Christy is not available. Well, I'm going to check the attendance list, as I told you uh, before. Here we have how to use what clauses. That's the topic for tonight. And here we have this. Telephone language. I'm going to call you one by one 
for the attendance list. You say, hi, hello, good evening, uh, whatever, right? And then uh, select one of these here. One, two, three, four, five. Number one, is Kim in? Is Kim there, please? Can I talk to your sister? May I speak with Mr. Kim, please? Would the doctor be in? Oh, would the doctor be available? Now, what I need to do is to change the name. Es to que cambien los nombres. Okay? So, here we have this. En lugar de Caesar, pueden cambiarle a otra cosa. Okay? Uh, en lugar de Mr. Kim. Okay? So, select one of these and try, for example, instead of saying, is Kim there, please? You can say, is Anna there, please? Is uh, Luis there, please? So, in that way. So, we're going to start in... Let me check this. We're going to start with Adi, but I guess Adi is not here by now, right? Okay. Um. Let's go now with uh, Cristina. It's like we're available. Ana Luisa. Luisa, hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. What's the phrase you select? Mm -hmm. um, ¿Cuál es la frase que seleccionas? May I, may I speak with my Kim, please? Okay. And let's see. Okay. Andre is not here. Rivas, what about you? Is Adi in? Okay. Thank you. Rivas. Uh, Daniel, please. Is is no in? Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, let's listen to David. Okay, David. Hi. Okay, I guess David has some problems. Creo que tienes problemas con el audio, David. No problem. Después te pregunto si quieres. A veces sucede que no sé qué les pasa a la máquina. No problem, David. Ya te noto aquí y después te consulto. Thank you. Sé que siempre estás atento. Ok, Evelyn. Hello. Y, hello, teacher. Is Joaquín very please? Perfect. Eh, Guillermo. Hi. Hi, teacher. Um, is Erika in? Thank you. John uh, is as a listener, right? No problem. Uh, I guess Katia is as a listener as well. Uh, Maritza? Teacher. Ah, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Katia. Is Rosalita there, please? Perfect. Sounds good. Okay, Maritza? Hello. May I speak? With Mr. Garcia, please. Yeah, sounds good with Mr. Garcia. Okay, Gustavo, in your case. Okay, teacher. Can I talk to your father? Okay, that's good. Thank you. Oscar Daniel. Um, can I talk to your brother? Okay, very nice. Thank you. And Eduardo, your turn. Will the doctor be available? Okay, thank you. And Rosalie? Would the supervisor be in? Yes, that's correct. Susie, I guess Susie is uh, available. Is Rosalie there, please? Yeah, thank you. So if you notice, here we have uh, different forms. 
when you ask to speak with someone, cuando llamas, quieres eh, hablar con alguien, uh, these are some different forms in which you can use, okay? When you are talking and these are like formal or informal, okay? Well, here we have this. And here we have a um, conversation between Joe and Kurt. But uh, there are some bold phrases, unas uh, frases que están en negrita, y este es el tema de ahora. This is the topic. What clauses? Okay. It starts like this. Comienza así. Uh, Kurt, do you know what you need to have a good product? Um, That's a good question. I think and that what I could do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market because of the competence. I get it. Yes, you know a friend of mine as a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from the local farmers. Sounds great. And at the same time, he contributes to these people, okay? So there are some phrases that I consider very important. For example, here, what do you mean? Ya saben que what do you mean es, que quiere decir, que significa, okay? Here, eh, ¿sabes lo que eh, necesitas para tener un buen producto? Mm, es una buena pregunta. Creo que lo que yo haría es eh, tener calidad en un producto. ¿A qué te refieres? Lo que estoy diciendo, what I'm saying, lo que estoy diciendo es que tu producto tiene que ser el mejor en el mercado. Y le dice, ah, por la competencia, lo entiendo. Yes. Sí, le dice, tú sabes, un, am un amigo mío tiene una fábrica de miel. Lo que mi amigo hizo, what my friend did, lo que mi amigo hizo fue eh, obtener eh, miel fresca de los eh, farmers, local farmers son eh, los agricultores locales, los granjeros locales, suena genial y al mismo tiempo él contribuye con estas personas, so in this case here we have what you need what I would do what I'm saying pueden decir what I'm saying, pero también what I'm saying what my friend did was, okay? So we're going to have a short practice at the beginning. Maybe we can have a screenshot here, please. We're going to practice, remember to switch. Recuerden siempre eh, intercambiar, ¿verdad? Es importante intercambiar eh, para poder eh, pues, practicar de mejor manera todos los diálogos. A ver si... Me apoyen enviando la captura. And we're going to practice in couples. I'm going to create the teams. Uh, we are hacer en este momento los equipos. Thank you. My dear friends. Okay, my friends, see you in a moment. Okay, I need to accept the request. Es necesario que acepten la solicitud. Please. Okay. 
teacher, no me aparece ninguna solicitud para unirme. Oh, ok. Eh, permíteme. Ahorita veo. Ya te digo, me avisa si ya te digo. Oops. That's nice. Thank you. Okay. Ana, tú me escribiste en WhatsApp. Hola. Hola. Ana. Ok, no, te consulto si tú me escribiste en WhatsApp. Yes, teachers. Ah, puedes participar porque según había entendido que tenías dificultades. Sí, por eso. Ajá, por eso, porque... Hay... Okay. Eh, no sé si me van a agregar a las salas de oyente sí, o no sé. Ya te, ya te agregué por cualquier cosa, ¿ok? Bueno, ok. Ah, sí, sí, ya me apareció. Thank you, teacher. Perfect. Thank you.
teacher. Hola Susi, ¿tuviste dificultades? Para escucharme. Eh, sí. Es que fíjese que cuando me incorporé al grupo 3 con Rosalí y Guillermo no me escucharon jamás. Entonces me salí, pero ya no pude regresar a ese grupo. Eh, bueno. Y aquí usted me la... escucha. Sí te escucho, pero cortado. Al final lo que hice fue salirme de toda la reunión y volver a ingresar, pero no sé qué problema fue. Ok. A ver. Porque ellos no me escuchaban. Yo les hablaba y me llamaban ellos y me llamaban y yo no me escuchaban que yo les estaba respondiendo. Así que quién, siguieron practicando solo ellos dos. Estaba con Rosalí y Guillermo. Te voy a intentar enviar de nuevo. En el si grupo 3 se... creo que era. Sí. A, a ver, ver si a me ver oye. Si se puede. Ok.
Okay, my friends, here we have this uh, conversation. It is like a very short, right? But maybe we can practice. Um, let's listen here. Rosalie, maybe can you help us? Who was your classmate? My classmates are uh, Guillermo and Susan. Okay, select so one of them and let's practice. Um, Guillermo. Okay. okay. Uh, please. Uh, who starts? Here, do you know what you need to have a good product? Oh, that's a good question. I think that I will do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Sounds great. And at the same time, he contributes to these people. Yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. Okay, let's listen to some other. Maybe we can listen to David. Could you please? Okay, Who was your classmate? Uh, Karina. Karina. Okay, Evelyn. Okay, who started? Yes. 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 Here, did you know what you need to have a good product? Oh, that's a good question. I did that. What I could do is have quality in a product. What did you mean? What I am saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence I have. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get French honey from local farmer? Sounds great. And, and at the same time, same he time. contributes to, the, to these people. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Very good pronunciation. So uh, here we have what you need, what I could do, what I'm saying, what my friend was. Now that we have here, um, Let's answer this first question. It says, what does Kirk's friends uh, to do to have a better honey quality? Es lo que tiene que hacer el amigo de Kirk, to have a better honey quality. Okay. Maybe we can what have... My did, what my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, uh, get fresh honey from local farmers. So that's the key. That's the the good option that uh, this person does. Okay, thank you. Very good. So now um, let's move to this and let's move to if you could change one aspect of your personality, what could it be? ¿Qué sería ese aspecto? Que ustedes cambiarían, ¿ok? Let's listen to some of you. Es una actividad que les envié en WhatsApp, right? So maybe we can start with Maritza. I would like not to be so introverted, introverted because uh, uh, the communication is often difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the communication is a uh, very, but very important, especially at work, right? So you consider that you are introvert, right, Maritza? Yes. And you would like to, to be like, yeah, maybe the opposite, right? to have more, maybe to be more, more social, okay? Or maybe to have like, um, yeah, 
eh, to be like talkative, quise ser un poquito más hablantino, maybe. Yeah. yeah, it depends on, yeah. on everybody, but we are like different. But thank you, Marit. Nice. Let's listen okay. to Daniel. Okay, Daniel. And then we go with uh, David. Tell us, Daniel. What do you think about this? Hey, Miriam, if you could show me one step, I consider, um, I think I should change my anger when I drive. You are angry when you drive? Yeah. Okay, yes, yeah, maybe, because you can have some difficulties or accidents. So, yeah, I can imagine because sometimes we don't have too much time. So we have to hurry up. And people are very slow. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Yeah. But yeah, we have to control ourselves. Thank you. And David, what about you? Okay, teacher. Uh, I think that that was good change in my personality is my way of managing money. I think I am a bit of a... Okay. Um, you consider that you could have like more success, podrías tener como más éxito, if you could manage better your money, so manejar mejor money, right? Yes. Thank you. Very important aspect. Okay, and maybe we can listen this time to Rosalie and then Oscar Daniel. I could be more sure of myself because at the moment I feel how I do doubt or doubt, pronounce duda. Doubt. I do. Doubt. I can't. I doubt doubt I can do some things. Okay, maybe you have the potential, right? You have the ability, but you say mm, you're not sure. No estás tan segura, right? Maybe you're afraid. Quizás te hasta tienes miedo, right? Afraid, maybe. So yeah. Okay, one aspect that you should improve. Aspecto para mejorar. Thank you, Oscar Daniel. What about you, my friend? What What do you think about this? Um, I will change my personally angry in in the world. Okay, consider that you could change that. Okay, sometimes we are angry. Remember that when we are working, we are stressed. Uh, we are like pressed. Estamos presionados es del estrés. I know kind of complicated thank you Oscar and for this we're going to listen now to Katia and then Guillermo okay Katia okay tell us mm -hmm. I would like to be more sociable and less shy I shall also like to be more positive because I always try to see the negative sides of the thing. <laughs> yeah, it's very common that we just uh, perceive the negative side. But really, are you shy, Katya? Are you shy? Yes, I'm very yeah. shy. <laughs> really, you don't look like, no parece, but okay. That's one aspect that you would like to change. Very nice that you can identify it. That's the first step. Thank you. And we finished this round with Guillermo. Okay, my friend, tell us, what do you think about this? Um, I would say that I would change um, to be so rude with the others. Sometimes, uh, I, I don't know. In, in your I job just do it or, or, or your in, neighbors? In with job. my neighbor, with everyone. Oh, Sometimes really? it's, it's like natural. Okay. 
maybe it's a way to 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 get out the the energy that you have maybe the stress or maybe the, your time yeah it, it happens sometimes so yeah one important aspect that you would like to change thank you very much thank you very much okay and in this case we're going to watch a video that is part of, of this part of manufacturing here we have this and in this case we have noticed and uh, that uh, the process of this factory of honey but as similar to this we have the process of improving some other enterprises so this video is like four minutes and we're going to check it and after uh, i'm going to ask you what do you think about this if you notice some phrases or words take a pen or pencil take notes to make notes y después me comenta, okay later we comment about this i'm becky miller i work at ge aviation and i'm a quality control engineer Manufacturing is great because it lets you use your technical skills, your problem solving skills, and your communication skills. And at the end of the day, I get to see a plane fly and I know that I'm a part of that. Evendale, Ohio facility is GE Aviation Headquarters. We do engine testing and development. We do manufacturing. We do assembly. We do sourcing. And we have our material support team here, as well as our corporate headquarters. We make very large parts at GE Aviation. Some of our parts are as large as 72 inches in diameter. And on a part that large, even an error as small as five thousandths, which is about the size of human hair, can make a difference. I enjoy what I do every day. Every day I can go home and feel like I've accomplished something because there's always a new challenge for me to tackle. I think the false impression that people get about manufacturing is that they think that my job revolves strictly around machines or that I sit at my computer all day and analyze data. My job is actually very people oriented. I work with groups of people every day to resolve problems. Even a small part can have a huge impact on the engine. This is a nut plate. It goes on our low pressure turbine cases. This little part is so important that we decided we needed to do torque testing to make sure that this doesn't fail when our assemblers in North Carolina put the engine together. To get everyone to work together on a problem, typically I like to make sure everybody agrees that there is a problem. So an operator and the methods engineer, they have to work together. And if they both think that there's an error with our process, then it's a lot easier to go tackle that issue. I also perform product audits on our part. That is checking every characteristic of our material to make sure that our products are conforming when they go out the door every day. In fact, it's a big business. Our pressure So, in the hairs. Yeah, all we get. You have to size them at structures got to make sure that at the end of the day all everything will fit inside of it and nothing can escape it if something were to go the whole quality system based on our types not so much to do with the large feature part it's all the little actually matter seeing sort of a shiny metal surface here but i know it isn't that way this part like actually comes in as a very max so there's a few more inches of material, basic shape, but doesn't have all steps half to get. Starts in our churning process. Churning is a thickness case, it's and terrible. it makes all these. It's very terrible. I guess I guess we have something <laughs> with this, right? But at least with the first two minutes, me we have like an idea, okay? So tell me. What's something that called your attention? 
something that is related to this girl job. Maybe. Sí, Rosalía, estaba cortado este video, por eso lo detuve. So, mm -hmm. let's listen. Maybe John, maybe Gustavo, Susi, or uh, Christy. Something that called your attention. Guillermo, yes, my friend, tell us. Well, uh, I, I see that she is looking for a solution if there is a problem in the headquarters. And she explains a little bit about his job and everything that, that she do mm -hmm. in her work. Okay, and she mentioned uh, some details, right, about her job. And Daniel, yes, what else, my friend? What, I'm, what I am listening to is manufacturing is great and support, manufacturing, resolve problems, job with the groups and the people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, yes. And also, yes, working with groups, okay? Working especially with people. And, and here we have David. Yeah, my friend. Okay. Share with uh, us. I, I, bueno, each price must have an exact measurement so mm -hmm. that there is no error. Uh, for example, dimension. Eh, lo, uh, la, eh, largo sería long long long, mm, long eh, eh, diameter mm -hmm. etc yeah there are some uh, yeah standards some some ways to measure like different aspects right very important, so it is like dedicated, bien dedicado, so it's just the matter is all the details. Mm -hmm. So thank you, thank you, yeah, of course. And I guess her work is very important, right? Since uh, she's working with uh, like a, a, a big company related to that, and especially because she knows a lot about it. Okay, thank you, uh, my friends. Let's continue with this. Now let's move to how to use what clauses. This is the main part of this of this grammar structure. I'm sorry. Okay, these are the four uh, what clauses. Maybe we can have uh, the patient of Luisa. Are you there? Is that for Elisa? Yes. Hello. Okay, Luis, I need you to read this. Necesito que leas la primera línea, the first line. Okay, teacher. Clauses. What? The day was your name? Or what? the day, teacher? Desde aquí, ve, la primera línea, what clauses? What clauses are of them the subject on the verb to verse? V, which can be forced by word. Esa no sé cómo se pronuncia. Phrase. Phrase. Phrase or class. A close. Okay, yes. And often the subject are often the subject of the verb B. Thank you, Luisa. Eh, así que, what clauses are the subject? Es todo eso, esas palabras que ven es como el sujeto. Cur curioso, ¿ok? del verbo to be. Okay, por ejemplo, aquí ve. What you need is. Okay. Which can be followed by a word phrase or a clause. Okay. So, uh, here we have what you need. What my friend did. What I would do. What I'm saying. What I'm saying. Okay. So, in this case, uh, here we have these examples. What you need, maybe we can have this. Uh, Daniel, I need you to help me read it. Number one and number two, please, my friend. 
the the number one. Yeah. What do one. you need? Mm -hmm. What do you need is to have a great product. Yeah. Number two. Number two. What what my friend did. What my friend did was get fresh ingredients. Fresh ingredients. Thank you. Okay, so uh, we can have Rosalie, number three and four. What I do. What I would do. What I could do is sell my product in new markets. Thank you. And, and number four, please. What I'm saying. What what I'm saying saying is what in uh, no, what I'm saying is that it is not an easy task. An easy task. Thank you. Okay. So when you say what you need, lo que tú necesitas, what my friend did, lo que hizo mi amigo, what I would do, lo que yo haría, what I'm saying is, lo que estoy diciendo es, así que todo esto funciona como un sujeto, digámoslo así. So, now let's go exercise number five. Select the best expression from the table in section four to complete the sentence. Okay, so these four uh, options, we're going to place them here. La vamos a ubicar acá. Okay, so I'm going to give you some couple of seconds. Le doy un par de segundos para que le den una revisada. And then we're going to complete it. Okay, we have to place these phrases in this basis. Okay, and let's complete this. You tell me what do you think about this, Guillermo? Okay, my friend. What number? Mm, number three. I don't know where she has to start. What you need is promote your, the product, uh, the products online. Mm -hmm. What you need? Okay. Okay, could it be? Thank you. Even here have two options. It's like very strange because you can have like two options. If you notice, both of them may tend from casa sentido. Being strange, okay. What you need is promote the products. What I would do is promote the product. Okay, but yeah, of course. And David and John, what number? Number, number one. Number. My oh. best friend. Hmm? Number one. Continue. You can hear me, teacher? Yes. Okay. My best friend just opened his own shop. And what my friend did was opening the good more. Yep. Okay. Thank you. David, are you okay with your options? Uh, 
Okay, number four. Mm -hmm. uh, people don't buy new products because they can't. Uh, when what I am saying is there is no demand. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is, yeah, there's no demand. Thank you. Very nice. And here we have number two. Maybe we can have the participation of Katia. Está por ahí. La tímida. Yes. <laughs> uh, many people want to start their own business. What I should do is a lot of information. Okay. What I should do, y también se podría what you need. Yeah. Yeah, if you notice, it is not uh, like out of sense. No, no está como fuera de sentido, but yeah, here we have it. Thank you. And it is important to establish these what clauses. Y estas what clauses siempre van a tener la palabra what. Okay? Thank you. Um, In this case, and we're going to do a special activity that we have here. Look. It says, prepare a two-minute presentation about a product from your company. Introduce important information about this product using what clauses. Yeah. Maybe what we can do, not necessarily a two-minute presentation, but you can talk about a product, a product of your company or the company in which you work. For example... You can mention the name of the product. We can say Smart TV. Okay. So you can uh, detail the characteristics. Okay. Um, for example, uh, it has uh, Android or it includes It includes Android system. Okay. What I'm saying is that it's a new update. Okay. Puede ser algo así sencillo. Okay. Uh, what we need is to talk about the product. Or you can also mention one characteristics, okay? So uh, we can do it like this, very, but very simple, yeah? Don't complicate yourself. What we want to know is the product or service that your company offers, okay? So I'm going to wait, I'm going to be waiting here in the chat. So uh, mention the product or the service of your company. You can say what I'm saying is that you establish like uh, something very important related to that. Okay, I'll be waiting for your answers. Para que no, no hagan la presentación de dos minutos. Okay, I guess that is going to take a lot of time. Va a tomar un poco de tiempo. Okay, so look at the chat. Ahí está el ejemplo en el, en el chat. And then we're going to share opinions.
Okay, my friends, we're going to check this and we start with Eduardo. Yes, teacher. Please, and then Rosalie. Uh, fragrance for cleaning products. You can do it yourself, disinfectants and detergents. Thank you. And Rosalie and then Jenny. Okay, teacher. E, the cell phone, it has more storage. What I mean is that I can download more games. More games. Perfect. Daniel and John. Vehicle importer. What you need is to a family car. What I would do is pay in a Tacoma or East Road. <laughs> Excellent example. Thank you. John and Maritza. Okay, uh, database in administrator service. Uh, what you need is a person uh, who is the who is in charge of supporting your database records. Records, yeah, that's it. Perfect. Maritza and Evelyn. Okay, Maritza. Um, easy and fast service with low prices and also a nice place to have a coffee. Mm -hmm. Good, thank you. Evelyn and Guillermo. Good, good. Tortillas are the best option to have a better gift. Mm -hmm. Nice. Guillermo and David. Okay, PlayStation 5 has a good graphics engine. What I'm saying is that you can play a lot of games. Oh, nice, nice, nice. And David. Uh, China food. Uh, China food is sometimes new to some people. What I am saying is that it's worth, worth uh, trying a different meal. <laughs> okay, very interesting. You are very creative. Some being creative, ya veo. Very creative. Okay. Um. Let's move to the other part, and we continue with this. Very interesting. What would you change? Uh, if you could change one aspect of your personality, what would it be? And here we have some other uh, participants. And we can start with Rivas and then Evelyn. Okay, Rivas. Okay, teacher. In my opinion, not to be such a perfectionist, but it is something that sometimes I cannot allow you. Okay, thank you. Very nice. Um, let's see now we can have Evelyn, Karina. The the angry and sensitive. You consider that you're angry. Mm, yes. Really, <laughs> te ves sonriente, así que es You're very smiley, but okay. Evelyn is a little bit angry, un poquito angry. Okay, thank you. Mm, let's move now to John and then Gustavo. Okay, um, let me see. Okay, uh, in my in my physical appearance, um, maybe I would like to change the eyes to green. <laughs> I think it's good to uh, be yeah. a bad idea. A good idea. Yeah. A good idea. And no, no. yeah. what about your personality? What? And about your personality? Uh, Let me see. Um, yes, I let me see. Maybe, maybe be more, more kid. More quiet friendly. or kind. More quiet in, in friendly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Could it be that that should be a nice change? Thank you. We go with Gustavo and Eduardo. 
Gustavo, are you ready? A moment, please, teacher. No problem. Okay, um, te voy a dar tiempo, so relax, okay? Let's listen to Eduardo and then Susi. Okay, uh, one aspect of I want maybe change of my personality. It was, uh, I am a little foolish and I want to be, or change it, but be persistent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good change. Yeah, to be persistent, it is uh, very uh, positive because you can reach your objectives, your goals. Thank you. And okay. Susie, and after Susie, we're going to listen to Luisa. Susie, are you ready? Okay, maybe not Luisa. Are you there? Okay, teacher. But about it's the personality. I am very express. I am quickly slow with something uh, bothers me. I don't have much patience. Okay. Okay. You don't have too much patience. You would like to be more patient. Yeah. Thank you. And Gustavo, now are you ready, my friend? Okay, maybe we're going to wait a okay. little bit. Okay, teacher. Yeah, please. Uh, one aspect that, that I would like to change is to be le less impulsive. Okay, less impulsive. Uh, in your job or with your family or friends? What do you think? Uh, in, in your job. In job. In Okay, a job in your workplace, okay. Yeah, very good yeah. point, less impulsive, thank you. And well, Christina, uh, she's kind of busy, okay, maybe she, uh, we were talking about the name of the song, estamos hablando sobre el nombre de la canción, eh, al parecer ella estaba pues encargada, pero tiene una situación, uh, she has a situation at home, Y no tenemos canción para ahora, lastimosamente, pero, 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 but maybe we can have it for tomorrow, eh, Rivas. Could you present your song? ¿Podría presentar una canción mañana, Rivas, please? Okay, teacher. Eh, eh, did you notice how I did it? ¿Notaste cómo lo hice ayer? Uh, yes, teacher, and, and please repeat. Okay, um, voy a mostrarles nuevamente cómo sería esta actividad. Este, y lastimosamente ya estábamos organizados, pero es un caso fortuito. Uh -huh. Sí, un caso fortuito acá. Vale. Va, le voy a poner un ejemplo cómo pueden presentar la canción. Yesterday I told you that these uh, parts of speech, la parte del gramaticales, grammatical structure is important. Necesito que mencione por lo menos siete palabras. ¿A qué parte gramatical pertenecen? Puede decir que una oración es en pasado, past, present, or future. ¿Ok? Estas imágenes ustedes ya las tienen en WhatsApp. Y también eso. Ustedes pueden decir que hay uno que sea subject pronoun. Object pronoun, puede ser possessive adjective, puede ser possessive pronouns, o pueden ser solo adjective, adverbs, si los verbos son regulares y irregulares, los artículos y los pronombres. No es necesario, it's not necessary to detail every word. Ok, no es necesario detallar eh, cada palabra. Con siete palabras, seven words that you can identify, we are ok, estamos bien. El ejemplo que les ponía de example was this. Una canción que hasta se puso a cantar John, que se encendió. Ok, so. <risa> de, de, a de good hecho, sound. la voy a ver con acompañamiento, dicho. Ah, vaya. Con guitarra y todo. Perfect. 
Ok, yeah. aquí tenemos esto. Yo estoy subrayando. Ok. Let me... Miren, aquí está what started. Ok. Pero son con what. Ok. Veamos acá. Uh, I, it's subject pronoun. Feeling is noun. Longer adjective. And conjunction. I'm verb to be. Started verb, uh, regular verb in past. I only wish is simple present. Show is verb, regular verb. Ok, tenemos 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Hice 8, pero pueden hacer 7 ustedes. Ok. Si captas arriba, ¿cómo es? ¿Cómo sería? Ok, teacher. Yes. Sería así. Eh, elige eh, el extracto de una canción. Puede ser, eh, puede ser digamos, una. The Guns N' Roses, The Metallica. The Guns Rose. Yeah, whatever you want. Selecciona cuatro o cinco líneas y ahí vas a encontrar you're going to find a lot of words that you already know. Hay muchas palabras que nosotros ya conocemos, pero es como que eh, consideramos, we consider that a grammar is complicated, but grammar, you can find it in songs. La gramática está en las canciones. Ok, so that's my point. We can work with grammar, but with songs. Ese es el punto. Ok. Um, we're going to talk about this. En unos minutos vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Yo había dicho que íbamos a hablar un minuto, pero no necesariamente un minuto, pero el tema sería aquí, ve. Talk about the things you hate most about school. Vamos a hablar de las cosas que ustedes odiaban o detestaban más sobre la escuela. Ok, I'm going to give you time for every one of you to talk about this. Para que tengan una idea de qué vamos a hablar, ok. The things you hate most about school. But before, pero antes de irnos con esto, we go with this. Ok. In this case, we're going to complete the sentence. Who, which, where. Ok, who, which, where. I'm going to give some... Aquí tenemos un ejemplo. But I'm going to write here. Okay, look at this. This is a vehicle. Uses electricity. The answer. That is a vehicle which uses electricity. Ese es el ejemplo. La palabra which se la agregamos. Ok. So now let's see. Ok. Here we have 15 sentences. Tenemos 15 oraciones. And what we're going to do is to select who, which, where. Who significa quién. Se refiere a personas. Which significa cuál. Y where significa dónde. Ok. Quién, cuál, dónde. O which también significa el cual, ¿verdad? Pero es para objetos. Ok. I'm going to give you some time. Les doy un poco de tiempo. And then we continue working with this. Ok. And try to select three or four. Tratan de seleccionar tres o cuatro para que no se las gane. Ok. And then we're going to complete it.
Okay, my friends, let's do it. What do you think? And who, which were uh, Guillermo, please? What number? And number nine. It. Yeah. And uh, here is a girl who always sells flowers in this street. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, Rosalie? In number two. Is a place where many people like to meet. Yeah, thank you. Good one. And we go with Daniel. This is a cup which is used for measuring liquids. Oh, this is a cup which, yeah, number 10. Thank you. Okay, and we go now with Maritza and Evelyn. Number four, mm -hmm. that is a house uh, which has uh, been recently built. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Number one. Oh, and then David. Mm -hmm. If a doctor would take care of two young mm -hmm. kids. Yeah, he takes care, thank you. Okay, David, and then we go with John. Number seven, mm -hmm. that is a person who assists the boss in the office. Mm, yeah, of course. Okay, we go with John and Rosalie. Yes, John. Okay, let me see. Number three, mm -hmm. is a man who drives heavy truck. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Rosalie, uh, did you participate? I don't know. Yes, teacher. Oh, okay. No problem, Rosalie. Thank you. I'm going to ask to Rivas and then Eduardo. Okay, Rivas. Okay, teacher. 11. Mm -hmm. This is a resort where you can go snorkeling. Okay. Word. Thank you. This is a resort where you can go snorkeling. Perfect. Thank you. We go with Eduardo and then we go with Gustavo. Number six. Mm -hmm. That is a room where families spend their time, their, their free time. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Where? Definitely, we're doing good. Gustavo and then Katia. Okay, teacher. Uh, number five. Number five. It's a, a game uh, which attracts attract the attention, attention. of ma many support, supporters. supporters. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Okay, good. We go with Katia and then Oscar Daniel. Okay, Katia. Okay, teacher, and number 14. This is a store where there are cell phones. Cell oh. iPhone store. Store mm -hmm. where they sell yeah, iPhones. Thank you. And what about um, Oscar Daniel? Are you there? Uh, number eight. Number eight, yeah. It is a street where many shops are located. Located, yeah. Of course, thank, thank you. you. Okay, we go with Luisa and then Susie. Okay, Luisa. Okay, this is uh, uh, 50. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a man uh, who can live in the other color. I don't know how to Heavy weight. Teacher. Heavy weight. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And Susie, are you there? And then Christina. Okay, Susie. Well, maybe Susie not available. Christina may be not available. So we're going to mention Guillermo, could you help me? Number 12 or 13. And then Daniel. 
Mm. Okay, and number 13, that it's a beer who sings a down. Mm -hmm. Aquí sí podría ser which, maybe. Yeah, because it's a, I know it's an animal, but well, pretty deep. thank you. Daniel, 12, it's a tool. It's a tool we you need for making your furniture. Furniture, yeah, the so muebles, thank you. Okay, and thank you very much, my friends. Who, which, where, we are ready with this exercise. And we have just 20 minutes to finish this class. So we're going to start with this. Talk about the things you hate most about school. Maybe Yermo can tell us. Do you remember your uh, school time when you were students? Something that you didn't like and uh, related to people, related to the place? Did you mention mm. one or two aspects? Mm, yes. Well, I hate the in so many in a lot of school they they practice uh, their religion and for me it is not important to do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean that is like an obligation for the school. But mm -hmm. I think that is not necessary. Okay. Uh, in the, in your school, you have that like as a subject, right? It was yeah. like obligation in your schedule. You have homeworks. Okay. Maybe you consider that there, there are some other subjects, right? That maybe you could have like more important in your case. Yes. But, okay. Thank you, Guillermo. Good. Yeah. Good opinion. Let's listen to Maritza and then we go with Kathy. What I had the most about school is getting up early. The, yeah. the exhibition, the exposition, ¿cómo se llama? Uh, presentations. The presentation. Uh, the presentation. Mm -hmm. And the drama. Okay. Yeah, because there are some students which they are good at presentations and drama, but there are some others that they have other abilities, right? And mm -hmm. yeah, it was an obligation related to Guillermo's opinion, an obligation, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, Maritza, mm -hmm. I'm so sorry for you. Thank you. Katia mm -hmm. and then Rosalie. Katia, are you there? Sorry, <laughs> tenía apagado el micrófono. No problem. Estaba uh, hablando solita. Okay, I, I think I really hate any day of the methodology in the school, but I had I had when kids call other offensive nicknames. And usually got in a trouble for that. <laughs> it was um, me directly, but I'm uh, born to the, hear their, them. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. Especially in El Salvador, we have like very, a very sarcastic form for the nicknames. And the bullying is, is well, it really has negative impacts, right? Uh, people are very rude. Students are aggressive, uh, orally. Yeah, I understand that. Thank you, Katia. Rosaline and then Daniel. Um, the things uh, I hated, <laughs> the math was um, math exercise and the homework. <laughs> no homework for Rosaline and no mathematics homework. Okay, bye bye. Right, thank you, Rosaline. Yeah, mathematics are kind of complicated sometimes. Thank you, Rosaline. 
I imagine that Rosalie had uh, their special subjects, right? like favorite subjects. But mathematics is not for everybody. Thank you. Daniel, and then we go with Eduardo. Okay, about this. Uh, when I was studying, what I ate in the most was getting up early. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that depends on where you live. Because uh, there are some students which they get up, but not so early. But there are some other students that they get up like really early. Right. So I'm so sorry for you, Daniel. And we go with Eduardo. Okay, Eduardo. What about you? Okay, uh, I think the things I hate, I must hate about the school, uh, maybe is some teachers, because in some one case, uh, there are very, uh, I don't know how to say, um, como que agarraban algo contra uno, digamos. Yeah, like personal issues. Yes, personal issues, uh, because uh, when when I was young, I being a little irreverente, ¿cómo se dice? Yeah, rebellious. Rebellious. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that is the, uh, my point in, okay. in, in the teacher's take. Uh, yeah, maybe the, the, the teacher's treatment, because it's not methodology, it's about personal things. Yes, and that, unfortunately, that's the problem. Unfortunately, there are a lot of teachers that are immature, so yes. teachers inmaduros. So Correct. If, if you have like a kind of attitude, they have a like worse attitude, they have an attitude peor todavía, so can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. The and I have had I have had partners at the work at the new compañero de trabajo teachers, and I I like what, yeah, I can imagine Eduardo, yeah, yes, so yes. we have that problem. What about if we listen now to David? Yeah, David. Okay, teacher, uh, personally, personally, uh, what I had the most. About the school, what was math class or mathematica? Yeah. Uh, because it, it was hard for me to understand so many numbers and they left a lot of homework. Yeah, a lot of homework. And the problem is that there are teachers, sometimes they just explain the easy exercises but the most complicated there are some teachers that they can't do it yeah and the explanation yeah. homework definitely mathematics is not for everybody okay thank you maybe what about john and then we go with evelyn okay john okay um the things i remember and hate um well when when I when I was little, okay. um, I hate being being the shortest shortest in my class. Uh, but things change when I turned fourteen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you suffer from bullying, John, because of what? your shape? Did you sure. receive bullying? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> it means because you were short, because after 14, you were like higher. Yeah. But yes, so you didn't like that, right? But to be short, the shortest. Life changes, life changes everywhere, right? Okay. Thank you. What about if we descend to? River, uh, Evelyn and then Rivas. Okay, Evelyn, tell us. We they ask me the table to multiply. And if I did, I send the punishment. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. There are some punishments that are not necessary. But nowadays, the punishments are not the same as in the past. Los castigos de ahora, nada que ver con del pasado, right? Because in the past, yeah, they were very severe. Muy severos, I remember. Okay. So now, they are in the glory. Kids. Yes. Necesitan un poco, ¿verdad? Una dosis. Okay, thank you, Linda. Y se ríe porque vas a ver qué tremendo era ella. Okay. Um, maybe we can have Rivas. And after Rivas, we we'll go with Gustavo. Okay, Rivas. Hey, teacher. In my, in my opinion, what I need not like were the surprise physics laboratories. Oh. The, typical, the typical phrase, take out a shit. Oh, yes. Yes. Take out a shit, right? And let's start this laboratory, this evaluation. And you were not prepared, not prepared yes, at all. Teacher. Okay, thank you. Yes, I remember that as well. Okay, maybe we can have the same Gustavo and Oscar Daniel. Okay, Gustavo. Okay, teacher. What I have the most in school is that some teachers have a preference for some students is so sometimes that it's wrong. Yeah, um, actually, uh, related to the same thing that Eduardo was mentioning, that um, th there are some bad attitudes from the teachers to students, right? And there are some yes. preferences, and even the teachers deny it. Los, los maestros siempre lo niegan. Teachers deny it, and you know that there are preferences, but uh, yeah. part of the school. Yeah, it's part of the school. And thank you. What about Oscar Daniel? And then we go with Luisa. Uh, okay. Um, uh, I had about school um, great many words uh, in all time, in all class. Mm -hmm. uh, no sé cómo decirlo, com comúnmente lo llamábamos dictados. Dictation. Solo escribiendo. Ajá, yeah. many words. Eh, eh, por decirlo así, mm, any explication, no sé, una, ninguna explicación, ¿cómo podría yeah. decir? No explanation. No explanation. No explanation. Ok. And and uh, learn books of li literatura or no sé este okay yeah learn okay. books from literature I literature okay. okay thank you thank you and of course it is true dictation el dictado era bien común pero bien común antes and they had to write a lot Okay, and we're going to check this um, conversation. Quiero que le den una revisada. Eh, ya la practicamos. Teacher, me. Eh, sí, solo me permites, Luisa, me permites acá que se me está trabando la computadora. Ok, Luisa. Solo permíteme un segundo. Ya regreso. Mientras tanto, le damos una revisada. Okay. Thank you. Gracias. Okay, almost to finish, ya casi para terminar, tenemos a Luisa, right? Luisa, tell us about what, y después nos vamos para, pues, a la conversación final. Okay. Yes, tell us, please. Okay, I, I didn't have, but you don't understand much. <laughs> yeah. I think I don't have a depression in what just como es, me, o sea, no tengo paciencia y me desespero. Yeah, you desperate. 
te desesperas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh -huh. and that's, yes, but... that's something that is kind of frustrating. It's como frustrante. When you don't understand yes. something, you try, you try, but you don't understand very well. So, yeah, I get your point. Capto tu punto. Thank you. And that uh, usually happens with mathematics. So, well, I don't know if Susie is available or Christy. If not, we're going to practice this. Esa sería la última actividad que tendríamos. This is about booking. Cuando tenemos la palabra book, significa libro, pero también es un verbo. Significa reservar. Reservar. Ok. Hello, Ginos. Hi. Can I book a table for tomorrow night, please? How many people is it for? Four. And what time would you like? About eight. Eight thirty, maybe. Let's see, we're pretty busy tomorrow, so I can do half past seven or nine. Oh, okay, then half past seven, please. What name is it? Jamie. J-A-M-I-E. Okay, so that's a table for four at half past seven tomorrow evening. Great, thanks, bye. Entonces, si se encuentra, está bastante práctica. Solo se trata, pues, de una reservación. Book a table for tomorrow. Reservación para mañana. ¿Ok? Están dando los datos de la hora. Y eh, Jamie está deletreando. J-A. El, el staff es la persona, el, el, el agente que está, pues, atendiendo. ¿Verdad? Jamie es el cliente. Ok. Maybe we can have a screenshot. Podemos tener una captura. Okay. Sería lo último y como es bastante corta, creo que nos tardaremos unos cuatro o cinco minutos en practicarla. Recuerden cambiar, ¿ok? Eh, recuerden cambiar de el script, ¿verdad? Okay. See you in a moment, my friends. Please accept the request. 